Hey everyone, I'm Dr. David Pendergrass. My son sent me this link of a new YouTube dating show thing called One, The Button. And he said, you gotta check this out, The Button. I said, all right, so I watched part of one. I said, okay, I'll do some thoughts on that. And The Button, in essence, is a dating, speeding dating show. But if the person, when the lights turn red, if the person wants to kick them out, they kick the button. That's it. So here we go. Here's one called One Woman Takes Over The Button. Here we go. What's your name? Alex. Alex. Like A L like A L E X. Yep. Elgin, nice to meet you. I like your shirt. That's tough. That's kind of wavy. You. Why are you wearing it's a good thing, by the way, when you date people, anybody, by the way, everyone loves to be complimented. Everyone. They might feel a little nervous, but they love it. So if you're able to do a date, this is fantastic. If the first thing out of your mouth is hi. You're dressed okay. They immediately like you a little better and they're gonna feel that you're safer. Bring sunglasses inside. Honestly, I really don't like people in my eyes, but I'll take them off though. I got you. Thanks. Take them off. Got nice eyes. I appreciate it. <laughs> That's a good. I say she had boundaries. Why don't you take your sunglasses off? Can I see your eyes? That's good boundaries. Good for her. I don't want people in my eyes. I don't get that. Fact about Alex. She ripped her butthole freshman year of college and waited three painful months before seeing two doctors <laughs> to repair it. I fully regret putting that in my application. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta hear the story. Yeah, I mean, just freshman year, eating dining hall food, afraid to like use public bathrooms, just mm. like didn't go well. And something bad happened one day, and that was September, and I had to wait until I went to my doctor at home, so. Oh my God. There was a lot of pain for a long time. That's sad. <laughs> Golly. I love the vulnerability. Thank I appreciate you. that. I was Honestly, hoping that somebody would. <laughs> I, he handled that very, very well. He didn't look condescending and mean, hateful, make fun of her. He handled that very, very well. Elgin, let us know that he Peed himself in sixth grade. When people say peed yeah, himself. That did I feel like that's not that bad. I didn't really have that much to share, so. Nothing embarrassing ever happens to you? Not particularly. I'm a pretty smooth individual if I'm not lying to you. Uh oh, it's turning red. Why did you reject Elgin? I feel like you have to have something more embarrassing. Hmm. Copy. Yeah, I shared the worst story. That is fair. That's fair enough. Yeah, he's nice. That's silly. I, I, I'm, okay, yeah, she probably just was embarrassed, and so you have to get out of here because I'm still embarrassed about talking about my rear end. But <laughs> I guess it's understandable. But why in the world? It's so, I bet it's going to happen on the show a lot. Is that it's going it's going to display a lot of what people do these days? That is, they're very, very, very quick to kick them out. And maybe it wasn't that at all. Maybe it's what we call well, there's a similar symptom in counseling called it the uh, it's the uh, the presenting problem, something like that. The presenting problem. That's the person comes and says, I have it and talk about this, but it's really not the problem. It's really something else. In any case, uh, I wonder if hers is this a way of saying like, well, you have an embarrassing story. Maybe she doesn't like attracted to black people. Maybe she's not attracted to him. Maybe whatever. But the real reason is you have to have an embarrassing story. That's the really bad reason not to date a person. I mean, what if he's the love of your life and that doesn't make any sense at all. Here we go. Hello. I'm Alex. I'm Jamil. Jamil? Yeah, nice, nice to, meet you. to meet you. I like your earrings a lot. Thank you. These ones are a gift from a homeless man. Really so your compliment's very good and tells a story right away. Homeless man. Oh, there's a story. <laughs> yeah. That's I cute. lit a cigarette and he was like, I just want a light. And I was like, oh, got you. It's like, I, I gotta give you something. So I was like, okay, let me see. That's for me. I'll take so you it. got to pick it? Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Do you two have an age range when you're dating? I would say like I don't stray too far out of my age range. I'm 25. Okay. I just like I want to go through the phases of life with the person that yeah. I'm with. Ask Jamil how old he is. How old are you? Um, I'm 37. Okay. But um, it's one of those things where, for me, <clears throat> I have a very young spirit. I'm sorry. Okay. I respect. I know I'm too old. So. <laughs> it was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting Thank you. Yeah. And then amazingly, I know I'm too old. One thing I like about that is when the the hit the button they say why why did you reject him and i was thinking that's something it seems to me now today it might be different i'm i guess compared to some of these people i'm old i'm not too much older than this guy i guess but people are not honest and honest doesn't mean me they just don't say why it is like oh i'm sorry i'm gonna thank you i, I don't want to work this out because you're older than i would prefer or you're older than moses i mean I, my point is they should tell them or but be honest with okay here's here i saw some of this okay immediately when i see you too i like the tattoos. So, Thank you so much. Yeah. I just got them. So she. Yeah, right off the bat, she seems nice. You can tell. Now, right immediately, you can tell 
So she has, uh, you know, of course, large breasts. She's not wearing a bra. She has a large tattoo. And when she sat down, she greeted him first. So she put her hand out, which just showed dominance. And then when she sat there, she shook like this, her shoulders. That's a subconscious way of saying, look at my breast. Look at my breast. What do you mean by that? And so women do that too in the nervous too. It's a way to draw attention to it. Uh, guys sometimes do that. They think they're big. Sometimes they'll scratch their chest or they'll do this. Or sometimes they'll they'll stretch. And they'll kind of do this. And they'll flex their muscles. And this is a way of showing, look how awesome and big I am. So it demonstrates right off the bat that she probably is an alpha female. And she's very, very confident confident in herself and we'll see how that plays see if i'm correct in my assumption um, do yours mean something to you the sun and moon that i have mm -hmm. my mom has a sun and moon tattoo okay i love astronomy well what sign are you <sighs> we're gonna go straight to it i'm like <laughs> sorry why? Yeah, right off the bat, you know, what is your sign? I guess that's what non Christians talk about, but and then she's so fast at that button, so let's see what the reason is. <laughs> uh and you can be honest, I can handle it. I would say I'm not sexually attracted to mm -hmm. you. Do you find Haley attractive? Sexually attractive, not really for me. Yeah. I mean, I think that you we could have fun sexually as well. Oh, of course. But I have fun sex, so that's Same. just me. I feel like <laughs> it's gone. Good. Well. Well, you know, I don't find you attractive sexually. What other attractive is there? I wonder what that means. Good, how are you? Good, Bernard. Bernard, I'm Haley. Haley? I, it's also Renard. Renard, I'm yeah. so sorry. Uh, it's like the French word for fox. Oh, so. that is actually my Patronus. Oh, really? <laughs> well, good for him for saying what his name is. A lot of people go, okay, my name is actually Sarah. It's, it's okay to say, actually, no, my name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you big in Harry Potter? I used to be, okay. yes. Yeah. Same. Um, I'm definitely excited for the Harry Potter video game, right? Oh, is there? Yeah. Was that you or me? Definitely me. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank though. you, Bernard. Yeah. Have a great day. Thank Renard, you. sorry. Why did you reject Renard? Not my type. What is your type? Ooh, I really like a tall person. Hi. It's funny, that's my type, that to be tall. But interesting, too, that people, I know, I bet we keep doing this, is that when people have the, the social etiquette. So tell me about yourself, I like your sweater, da, 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 which means in the back of their mind, and most people have studies demonstrate this, within, sometimes within a few milliseconds, people have already decided whether they consider you to be safe. Within a few seconds, to decide whether they're going to be your friend or whether you're nice or whether you get along with you, which, of course, is silly, but it's a deep, deeply ingrained survival mechanism. And so they go, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, come on, hit that button as fast as I can. It demonstrates two very different things going on. One is the real beliefs and perceptions they have, and one is the etiquette. And that's what most people stay in the etiquette for a long time. The etiquette is the ideal self, which is false. It's the polite manner versus they could sit down and look at him and say, no, thank you. You're not my type. You could just, she could save a lot of time that way if she's already made up her mind. How tall are you? Five foot ten. Five foot eleven? I, I, I like five eleven. See ya. They'd save a lot of time. But. What's your name? Mo. Mo. And you? My name's Haley. Haley, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Very beautiful. Oh my god, thank you. You're <laughs> super <laughs> cute. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, I wonder why he has a like a parka on, zipped all the way up inside of a room, and she's half naked. And I wonder what the difference. Maybe it's a style thing. I've had a small talk. Uh, Me neither, actually. Oh my gosh, you just literally spoke volumes to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> what are your deal breakers? Ladies first. Oh, how do you know I identify as a lady? Uh, just kidding. Ah, just putting you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Deal breakers. Someone. But she just said that, right? How do you know I'm a lady? Wow. Yep. Yeah, there's leftism. How do you know I'm a lady? I wonder why. Who doesn't find drive or love or passion in life? I'm a very passionate person, Hot. so I like to do that. <laughs> what are your deal breakers? breakers? Yeah. Definitely somebody that can't take a joke. Like, I love talking <laughs> Honestly, same. Like, if you can't take a joke or if you can't take me poking at you or, like, giving you we're probably not going to buy That's what I'm saying. Fun fact about Haley. They're Polly. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there. So it's not a she anymore. Now she's a they or a they. They are poly. Chris is polyamorous. So that means, and, and what that polyamorous means, I don't like commitments. That's it. They just want to have sex with a lot of people, and that's it. That is a very interesting, I think, phenomenon for people to think that's okay. Everybody, you know, I mean, studies demonstrate that human beings are not made for that. They say, they're not made to be monogamous. Yeah, actually, they are. That's Women have to, most women, have to profoundly stomach seeing their man do something to other females. Some are different. Some are different. Uh, but there's something really, really off. If you think that it doesn't bother you at all to be 
deeply bonded or attached to someone while they do things other people uh, that only people who are bonded should do, sexuality. Also, most people who have gone through this kind of stuff have some kind of abuse in the background. So, to me, the thing is, I think she's probably been sexually abused or somehow taken advantage of, which is very, very sad. Maybe not, but it's more likely than not because people find themselves. The other option, of course, is the person could be a narcissist. They think they're better than people who are monogamous and they're superior to them. And monogamy is for, you know, it's passe dimwits from my grandma's age, but not for me. The other thing could be is that she's just not narcissistic, but just very prideful. That is to say is, I'm so proud in my this, that. Other people like the attention. Uh, but it'd be interesting psychological reason. It's not because a normal person, normal, average, healthy people don't grow from childhood all the way up to say, I can't wait to be in a non-committal sexual relationship. That's a very different thing. So all that to say, I'd be interested if we heard her story behind the scenes. I'm definitely a monogamous type of person. Yeah. Good. I just, it felt bad. There it is. Yeah. This they don't like that idea. I know. I feel like we were vibing. No, we were super vibing. <laughs> what? Right. It was going to come out anyways. Come Thank on. You. Hello. I'm Haley. So you should keep shaking when I guys walk up. You should keep shaking people. You have some things to say about it? No. No? I understand it. I like picky, so. How old are you? 23. How old are you? I'm 30. 30? Mm -hmm. Okay. I've been with older. Do you typically date older? I, I don't know. I just like smart women. Okay. Good conversation. Like, what can you talk about? I don't know. Philosophical conversations, too. Mm. Are there any type of philosophers that you would say you find yourself really akin to or that, like, really have influenced you? Uh, Kanye West, Steve Jobs, and my father. Did you just say Kanye West? He creates culture. He creates conversation. Mm. He changes people's minds. But and he's anti semite like, and he's against... Well, but... Like... <laughs> Is anti semitite I don't even, I don't know. Well, her question, her follow-up question was very good. So if someone says, I like philosophy, great. Who's your favorite philosophers? That's a great, that's a good follow-up. It's a logical extension. Um, and also demonstrates that she's not interested in just talking about herself all the time. That's good. That's good. Someone says, I like reading. You go, I like, I like baseball. The point is, it's okay to have a con conversation when you learn more about the person. That's very good. So when you say Kanye West, that's pretty funny, man. She meant to say anti-Semite, but anyway, we'll see. But the thing that... I was yeah, I know, I know, I I know, but as far as oh, Kanye West, I'm sorry. As far as his comments, that's how inclusive she is. On like the anti-Semitic stuff, like the I like Hitler, I don't, I don't really. Sorry to interrupt. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this. Um, thank nice you, Mark. To meet you, Haley. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Kanye West really shook me, y'all. That was really hard. Oh my god. We're gonna take a break from the men. Isn't that interesting? She looked at, she got visibly, physically upset about that. Not funny. Not, not funny, haha, but I mean, that, that's interesting. Why would that make you so upset? I bet, I bet my pathetic, ridiculous, pathetic savings account that she prides herself in being very inclusive and open and all that so that she's poly, poly, all that open, open, open. But if someone says, I like Kanye West, she, she didn't have a, a visceral disgust. And that one shook me up just to say the word Kanye. You would think that she just came out of fresh 1947 Auschwitz and someone said I'm really a fan of Hitler, but that's amazing to me. That's amazing. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> so that's called irony. I'm taking a break from the men and the outcomes next is a man with lipstick on. It's funny. Why is this funny? We were just playing truth or drink in the dressing room and Chris just um, had a question of who would you be most sexually compatible with out of this group. And lo and behold, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I didn't, you're training to... Uh... To become a certified sex coach. That's yeah. so cool. I think there's a lot of healing. Which of course demonstrates the, the profound obsession with sex that it didn't demonstrate. It's paradigmatic, it's exemplary of the kind of sex obsession or culture. So they're back having truth or drink or whatever it was. And so let's get drunk. And what we're going to talk about, who's sexually compatible. Which another thing is really bizarre to me. Sex, like, humans are sexually compatible. That's, of course, I'm a Christian. God designed that. They're male and female. And so they fit together the way they're supposed to. It's, it's a dumb thing to say. I wonder if we are. Like, are you talking about a tree and a horse? I mean, we're talking about the human being. Of course you are. The fact is, well, I don't know if I'll like sex with you. And just, I had such a very different mindset. The Christian worldview does not figure out whether you like a person, whether or not you think they'll get along well in sex. I just, I mean, that, that's so bizarre to me. I, I'm so very, very different from that non-Christian mindset. Very different. With sex? Mm -hmm. yeah, she was to teach so people how to have sex. Behind all of it. Oh, you're out. 
It's okay. <laughs> Can I hug you? Oh, Is that okay? It's okay. He told her he wants her to make sure her feelings aren't hurt. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You're generally an amazing person. Look at that. Person. Thank you. Of all the people she's rejected, immediately, and said negative stuff about, not one of them, and did she jump out of the seat to give a long hug? And that's, I guarantee it's because she sees the fragility, and I've got to be super, super sweet because I realize you might go kill yourself. That's sad. Why did you reject Chris? <laughs> How can that be triggering? So, what are you into? I'm into people. I'm into there it energy. is. Love is love. Yeah, for me, I don't know. I've mostly dated men, but I find women immensely attractive. I, I'm actually more attracted to women than I am men. Same. They, they understand you more. One hundred percent. Question but, for you. Yes. And um, you do not have to answer this. <laughs> you know who understands you even more than this woman you know, and her sisters and brothers. You know, who understands you even more her parents. What you need to do is just have a sexual relationship with your family because they really understand what you've been through. Because if that's the whole mark of why you're attracted to a person, why they understand you. Do you see how silly that is? I don't feel comfortable. How many sexual experiences have you had with women? Probably, I wouldn't say like six. Love. Do you two find each other attractive? I th is this all they'll talk about these days? Sex? It's so shallow. Yeah. They don't talk, a, I can't believe, outside of the other girl in the gym story or getting to the restroom story, this is, they're so obsessed with sex. You're stunning. I can't believe it. I think you're absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Go they on. always say that. They always say that. When you're so beautiful, I think you're so beautiful. No, you don't. No, you don't. 100% of the time, that's not true. You say it because someone said it. You say, oh. Uh, you both said you yeah. found each other attractive, but you were both ready to hit the button. Yeah. I feel like I would have more fun with you as a friend. Like, like let's same. go out, same. Like, let's vibe. Same. Just because I'm attracted to you doesn't mean I want to f you. Yeah. Am mm -hmm. I going to get this person's information? Absolutely. Absolutely. Are we going to f I don't know. Uh, Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Maybe. You know what? Never say never. Like Enough said, tequila? Yeah. Possibly. <laughs> okay, Haley. <laughs> yes. You rejected men, women. I don't know that we have someone for you. I find that controversial. How do you know? Because I've already gone through everybody. Yeah. Well, thank you for a lovely time. I had so much fun. Oh, I had a lovely time with you. <laughs> thank you very much. Anything. I find that controversial. Well, there you go. There are my quick thoughts on that. Uh, they're very insightful for you, but... Uh, yeah, I tell you what always stands out to me is a sense of profound obsession with sex, 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 sex. Man, if that's what you think life is all about, or finding a mate, I mean, my goodness, that is a horribly anemic, superficial something. I, man, I, I just want to be, if you're going to listen this far, God designed us. He knows how life's supposed to work and how marriage and life's supposed to work. And the foundation of a very good, healthy Christian relationship and marriage is not predicated upon sexual compatibility. It's just not. Sex is a very, very, very good thing, and it's awesome, and it's wonderful, and it's healthy, and it's fantastic. God designed it. But it's not the foundation of whether or not you stay united forever. Of course, in a Christianity, sex within marriage only, man and woman, but all that to say, man, that's amazing to me that it's so overtly sexual. So I guess I'm still naive and learning. Thanks a lot, son, for letting me be exposed to this. Do you like what you saw so far? Let me know what else you want to do. In the comments below, like to share with your friends. Hope to see you next time. God bless.